Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Zeology. This is Zeeshan Sarwar, scholar of Biology. Today, I am going to tell you that how to draw the structure of chlorophyll in easiest way. So, keep watching my video till the end. So, let me write here steps. Number one step is draw four open ring structure. Remember that this is the open ring structure. Here I am going to draw the four open ring structure. Number one, number two, number three. And number four. Okay. Now, second step is draw four pyrrol rings like this. Remember that pyrrol ring is the five corner structure that contain nitrogen at its fifth end. So, how to draw the pyrrole ring? To draw the pyrrole ring, you are going to just stretch one line from this corner and second line from this corner and join these two lines. Okay? Similar with this end, stretch these two lines and join these two lines okay similar with this scatter these two lines and join with this and from these end again stretch these two lines and join them so these are the four pi roll ring that contains nitrogen and its end okay clear and put the magnesium atom between yeah in the center and draw the bonds among four bonds two dotted bonds are shown and two continuous two lines are shown that means the complete bond and these two are incomplete bond. Okay? Now, the third step is draw the double bonds. Okay? Where to draw this double bond? And from where to start? Remember that for the double bond, you are going to start from the first pyrrol ring. The first double bond is start from here. Okay? Then leave the space. Second double bond here. Then leave this space. Third bond. Leave this space. This one. And draw double bond. Leave this space. Double bond. Leave this space, double bond. Leave this area, double bond. This one, leave this one and draw double bond. Leave this one and draw this. And leave this one and draw this. So, if you count these double bonds, you will notice that these are 10 double bonds. So, let's, let's notice. Number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number ten. And if you notice that the number the double bonds are drawn alternately. Okay, alternately. One, leave this space. Another, leave one space, another, one space, another, and you will see that the double bond is 
having one space between each two bonds. Okay, and this is the key to remember the double bond. Okay, now fourth is draw the four methyl group. Now, where methyl group is strong? So, again from the pyrrole, first pyrrole ring. Here, draw the first methyl group. Second methyl group here. Remember that at the second pyrrole ring, methyl group is placed only if the chlorophyll is A. In the case of chlorophyll A, you are going to show methyl group in second pyrrole ring. But in the case of chlorophyll B, you are going to show aldehyde group instead of methyl group. Okay? Now, third methyl group and here, fourth methyl group. Okay? Now, fifth step is, now the fifth step is, add C2H5, C2H5, where? Here, add C2H5, okay, now, another easy step, add double bonded CH2 okay where double bonded CH2 is added now look at the board notice that where I am going to add this carbon double bonded hydrogen and while well, double bonded sorry double bonded carbon with hydrogen okay H2. Clear? Now add this structure. Now, another important step is the addition of yeah, add <coughs> another five corner structure. Five corner structure. Where to add the five corner structure? Here, just, just stretch these two lines and join these two lines. You will see that this is also the five corner structure. So don't forget to add double bonded oxygen at the end of this five corner structure. And at this corner, you are going to start writing C double oxygen and methyl group. Okay? Now, eighth step is place hydrogen atom. And where eight atoms are placed? Very easy. Number one, H. Number two, Number three, number four, number five, and number six. So place six hydrogen atom here. So this is the complete head. Of chlorophyll, which is also known as a power five ring ring okay now move to the tail now for the tail it also starts from the fourth pyrrole ring from the fourth pyrrole ring just start to draw <coughs> ch2 3h2 
2 okay from here just start drawing ch2 another ch2 and another c and at the carbon number 3 you are going to just show the double bonded oxygen okay and again oxygen but at the fourth place okay and from the oxygen draw 15 carbons remember that from the oxygen so carbon number one carbon number two carbon number three carbon number four carbon number five carbon number six carbon number seven carbon number eight carbon number nine carbon number ten carbon number eleven carbon number twelve carbon number 13 carbon number 14 and carbon number 15 okay <coughs> now place hydrogen at the at carbon number one from the oxygen ch2 here ch and carbon number three remember that i am counting these carbon from the oxygen end okay and at the carbon number 3, you are going to show double bond. Between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3, you are going to show double bond. And at the carbon number 3, you are going to just draw CH3 or the methyl group. Okay? From now, that is pretty easier than previous. From this, draw CH2, CH2, CH2. Three times. And at the fourth carbon, just place methyl group. Okay? Remember, remember to fulfill the all four valences of the carbon. Number one, number two, number three, number four. And here also, number one, number two from methyl, number three and number four with the same carbon. Okay? And from now, again repeat this process. CH2, CH2, CH2. And fourth, at the fourth, add methyl group and hydrogen. Okay? Repeat this sequence again. CH2, CH2, CH2. Okay? And at the last or 15th carbon, place methyl group. Now, this is the tail of drop which is also known as a which is also known as a pi tall tail okay and that is composed of c 20 h 39 atoms okay so this is the structure of chlorophyll and the easiest way i told you if you have any question any query then you can comment me don't hesitate to comment and ask so thanks for today